So earlier today, I came back here to get my shoes on and um, I spotted them. What did you say to me? Give me your wallet. <laughs> We're going to pick up some cold cuts and some cheese, some sausage. Stars fall at my feet, keep me grounded as I reach. Higher than I see, is there something there for me? And for Anna Joe, hope all is well. How are we doing? We're doing great. Thank we just got here to Almanel Beach, mm -hmm. which is right across the way. I'm sure you guys can see that. And we are having lunch here at the restaurant. Look at the menu. Prices aren't bad here at all, actually. So here's lunch. Chicken and cashew with some vegetables. And the chicken fried rice. Give this down over there getting coffee and a drink. Mm. No pie apple today. No coconut. pineapple? Coconut? Mm. Well, coconut's good, right? Yeah, good. Feels like the storm is brewing. Hopefully it doesn't stop pouring on us. We'll see. I'm trying to lose weight, but every time I let gift order, we get way too much food. So I guess I'll have to start ordering now, huh? It's raining. Luckily we didn't sit on the beach to eat. Gonna wear my? So lunch was oi mat, very good. 515 baht, that included all four meals and the uh, ice cappuccino as well as gives uh, coconut drink, right? Coconut? Yeah, gives ice coconut drink. So not bad at all, about 15 USD. Very good lunch. The rain slowed down just in time for us to get to the SUV. A lot of people left as soon as it started ringing. So, <laughs> oh, you want me to open the door? Please. There are more boats out here today than I've ever seen in this part of the bay. Wow. Definitely a beautiful sight to see. Maybe it's due to the weather, I'm sure. Good morning, everyone. We are here in Hohin. We decided to come here, get some lunch at the Euro Deli, one of our favorite places to eat while we're here in Hohin. And um, then go get Gift a nice chocolate and uh, get me a hot cappuccino. And of course, Gift will do some shopping at the mall, I'm sure. But anyway, it's been raining all week long. So, uh, yeah, we decided to get out of the house today. It's not raining too hard. We'll put a link to this location in the description and pin comment, but Euro Deli and Sausage House, they have really good food as well as um, you could take food with you to go. Uh, some frozen sausage, homemade sausage, other meats, cheese, bacon, things like that. Alrighty, gifts lunch. And my lunch. That is one big sandwich. I'm sure I can't eat all of that. <coughs> That looks good. Sure, what, what you have? We're gonna pick up some cold cuts, and some cheese, some sausage. It all looks good. Did you enjoy shopping? No, you did. I told you, Nikkei. I'm annoyed. You're annoyed? What did you just say to me? Huh? What did you just say to me? No, before that. Give me your wallet. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't give it to you when you went shopping. <laughs> I take your bank card. I'm sorry. <laughs> you keep your wallet, but your card, I keep. 
Okay, so let's go take a look at this house. Build it's ringing again. <laughs> it's been ringing a lot lately. Uh, sport and a half from my friend Eddie, uh, who lives in the United States in Maryland. I did a video on him. I'll put a uh, link to that video in the description. But anyway, let's go look at this house build. So they are putting up the walls. And uh, as you can see, so here are the blocks that they're using to build the walls. They're doing both the exterior walls and the interior walls. careful when I'm walking so some of the process I can't walk back here I'm not sure if you can see all of that purple string there so I'm not gonna walk back there but this is some of the little rebar that they put in you can see them over there and in here they've poured concrete and then they'll finish another layer going up and they've done that in several locations already that's to make the wall even more sturdy, I guess. Anyway, I'm walking down on this plank of wood and my <laughs> big ass is, uh, I'm not as small as a typical tie, so hopefully it doesn't crack on me. I'll be laying on the ground, right? This, this plank over here looks like it's a little bit more sturdy than the one I was just on. Yeah. Anyway, they're getting some work done. It's starting to come together. So this is going to be where I'm at right now, the open floor plan, the uh, living room, dining room, kitchen. And this would be the first bedroom, the front of the house, the guest bedroom, I guess. And this is going to be the master bedroom. And as you can see, the master will have its own ensuite. And it's gonna be a pretty decent size. Bathroom and lodge master. Very cool. Back here, There'll be a small, small bathroom right here. It will have its tie style. It'll have the shower, toilet, sink, a very small. And back here, I don't know why they didn't do this first, but, but this is where they're gonna put the septic tank. So I guess they're going to dig it by hand. That's what they did over on the other, the other house over there that's still not finished. The budget friendly one i call it the budget friendly a lot of folks say wow this is really close to your house in a lot of ways it is but actually they have to have one meter distance between the wall of the house and then uh, the property line and then over on my side i have a little over two meters on that side over there maybe can't really see it from here but it's it is so there's a little distance the roof now obviously is a little bit closer but it doesn't go over to my property line yeah. at least they could work in here without getting wet even when it rains now right, be careful but a short update now here, I thought, but I guess I'm wrong, that there was going to be a sliding glass door in a bedroom, but I think they just put in a window in a bedroom. And then this will be, as you enter the house, it'll be a sliding glass door. The process should start moving fast. And now once they get these walls up, They will uh, render the outside, plaster the inside. Yeah, it's coming along. I was going to get in a pool today, but I guess that's not going to happen. I can get in a pool. I've gotten in it before when it was raining, but yeah. 
not today. Yeah, if you're not interested in these uh, house build videos, sometimes we put other content, we mix it in, but if you're not interested, just skip through that part or skip the video completely for those of you not interested in it. But a lot of folks are interested in it, so that's why we share it. And <laughs> besides the fact, there's not a whole lot going on right now. We haven't been traveling. Uh, don't plan on doing any traveling this month. Just staying home and enjoying our house. So, yeah, not a whole lot going on. So not a whole lot to show you except what in and around town. And we've showed that before. We don't want to bore you guys to death. But there is the budget-friendly house over there. Like I said, nothing, nothing. They haven't done any work on that in the past few months. So I'm not sure when that will be a com complete. So earlier today, I came back here to get my shoes on. And I spotted a monkey. But it's not the normal dusky linga monkeys which live in the mountain here those are the more friendly ones this was a uh, macaque i believe it is macaques and um it was a big one they normally live over by monkey mountain you never see them in this part of town monkey mountain's about seven kilometers away so i guess it roamed here uh we told a lady here she said yeah they they come every now and then she said um it's not unusual but we never seen one we never seen one in this side of town, so not in the two and a half years we lived here in this village. But anyway, scared the living daylights out of me when I first seen it. Tried to get in and shut the door so it doesn't run in the house. He was a big one. He was a big one. But anyway, hopefully he found his way back to the other side of town. And uh, luckily it was only one. You don't want, we don't want to have a lot of monkeys like uh, on the, uh, over by Monkey Mountain. That would be crazy. I don't think that would be a problem here. Like I said, first time in two and a half years we've seen one. But anyway. Thank you so much for watching our video. Love you all. Love you all. Bye bye.